So, fellas and fellettes, um, there's a little butterfly right there. Anyway, um, we got some beer. We got a big van. We're going to put in a wood floor, at least subfloor, in this nasty old 97 GMC Savannah. So, basically what we're going to do is rip this carpet out. And under this, here, let me show you real quick. Under this nasty carpet is some rubber. And then under the rubber, oh, maybe I can't pull that up yet. But we want to get that rubber out, I think. That's kind of our plan. So get the nasty carpet out first. See how intact the rubber is. If the rubber is going to work, we might leave that down and then just, we're going to use this sealant that it, it can seal the wood to the floor. Uh, I don't want to put screws in the floor because I don't want rust to start and have little holes all over the floor. So I'm going to just uh, use this sealant that I bought on Amazon. I'll show you guys what I got in a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're just going to pull the carpet out. Put the We're going to measure everything out, cut the wood put the wood in and then seal it to the floor. So that's our plan today. So uh, stay tuned. You can't forget, good old horny monk, Toski Brewing Company. These are so good. Cheers, boys. Yo, look at this cool little spider. He's almost the same color as the tires are. He's a quick little dude. All right, we're going to start by getting all the rest of this junk out of here. There's not much in here. I cleaned most of it out this morning. Uh, but we do have a couple of random odds and ends in here, like these weird pipe fittings I got from somewhere. Um, but we'll end up getting all of this junk just kind of thrown into the front here for now. The front area is going to have its own piece of wood. Probably we'll take the seats out, cut a piece of wood for the front, or just leave the rubber. I don't know. I don't mind the rubber don't really need the the wood in the front so we'll figure all that out later on but it looks okay with this i like this rubber matting it's like a you know a work van rubber mat i don't know it's it's nice it works out all right we're gonna start with getting this random um it's like a jack housing there used to be like a jack in here and some other stuff um but i figure it's 10 millimeter I'll just pop it out because it's kind of in the way and uh, i don't really want to deal with it and easy enough to get out so we'll just pop this whole situation right out of here i don't know if i'll be able to get these out there we go cool 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 all right so i'll come back when i get this bracket off and uh we'll touch base pulling the carpet up do Woo! it look at that wait, wait, wait. It's kind of stuck. It's kind that's of fine stuck. just rip it out we can always put that thing back careful not to break it yeah Look at that. Well, there's some bolts here. Gosh, this carpet is so gross. <laughs> it is a little gross. Look at you, though. Rip that bitch out of there. That part might, yep, you just have to rip it out from under that little plastic piece. Wow. I think it's time to get the shot back out for sure. Yeah. So kick that bitch right on the grass and we'll uh, shot back this out. Woo! So the plan is this uh, rubber stuff here, it, it goes across the whole floor. It comes up on the walls a little bit, but we're gonna cut that flush all the way around. Then we're gonna pull the whole rubber piece out. We're gonna put it onto our sub flooring and we're gonna trace it all out, use our jigsaw, cut that whole thing out. Put it back in here and see if it fits. So that's the next uh, goal in this whole excursion. We're also going to vacuum this out a little bit and clean it up so that everything's nice and clean before we put it all back together. So uh, stay tuned. Go for it. All right, we're going to pull this rubber out. Yeah, there you go. Is that my open beer? Yep. <laughs> yeah, don't get it in my beer. Okay. That's all right. So this is gonna be our template, basically. This is what we're gonna lay on the wood and measure all this out and draw it all out and then cut the wood and put it back in. So that's the plan. We'll get to it. So, 
This is the inside rubber mat that we pulled out of that van. We're gonna measure or uh, trace all this out on this wood, cut it all out with a jigsaw and try to fit those in. You can see we've got a little bit of excess here. We're hoping to cut this side off all the way down and be able to use those pieces of wood to fill in that excess piece that we don't have. That's the goal. Um, so we'll see how that works out, I guess. We might even pull this this way more so we can kind of have extra over on that side to cut out. But regardless, I got a jigsaw, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna use this vacuum, vacuum out the inside of this, all this nasty dirt and stuff that's in here, get that out of there. But you can see how clean this van is. It is tight, nice and solid on the bottom, no rust. Let me show you guys the inside here. So we're planning on putting our bed this way over the wheel wells. Um, I can lay this way just perfect. It's a six foot wide area for me to lay in. I'm six feet tall, so it's, it's actually perfect. Um, we did want to go this way, but as you can see, this is our cutoff line, which meets up with this door, which is just two. We have no space in here if we made a bed that big. So we're going to have our bed meet up with, we're going to keep, you know, that's where the line was for me laying this way. We're going to cut it back to about here to meet up with the doorway or even meet up with the wheel well and make our bed back there. We're gonna bring our bed up to about here so that we have a lot of storage space under there. And then we're also gonna build some tables and maybe a sink over on that side. And then our oven is gonna come off of this wall and bring down, or the oven will come off of that wall and come down, or it will come off of here and come down. We don't really know yet. We're trying to kind of figure this all out as we go, um, but I need to make a for sure plan and uh, figure it out. So let's get this vacuumed out. We'll get that traced out over there and we'll get it cut out. And then we'll, we'll come back with you and uh, show you our progress. Get as much dirt as you can. Sweating yet? Yeah. Same. <laughs> All right, guys, while she does that, I'm going to use this marker and mark all this out so that we can uh, start cutting this out with a jigsaw. So we'll just kind of roughly draw this out.
there. All right, got that all traced out. I gotta cut some pieces off right here, kind of weird, but let's get the, the jigsaw out and try this out. How are things? <laughs> Good. It looks a lot cleaner in here. Great job. How are you doing? Good, I got it all traced out. I'm about to get the jigsaw out and start cutting. Okay, cool. Yay. I gotta wait till you're done though, because I need the cord, but take your time. I'm almost done. All right. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna start cutting this wood. So <laughs> the way you pointed. <laughs> I got my, We're gonna uh, start cutting this wood. Harbor Freight Chicago Electric uh, jigsaw. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little tipsy at the moment. Um, I've got a reverse blade in here. It's for clean reverse wood. I don't even know why I have a reverse blade. I just remember watching some people build a van. And they said to use a reverse blade. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to cut this out and uh, see how it goes. So let's get to it. Shot. Right, guys we got this part cut this is the front area so we're gonna go try to scoot this in through uh I guess we'll just oh it in through let here. me move the beers yeah. oh right. never mind yeah. guess we're not right. so, here i'm gonna go around it should slide Right here. Get that marker. Might be out there. It's on the back of your car. Here you go. We can. We might have to cut that off actually right there. Or we can slide it up under. You could probably put it up, slide it up under. Yeah, it's pretty close. Beautiful. Like Yay. We might actually have to cut that off. I don't think we can pull it out anymore. No, but that's okay. We can just take it out and yeah, cut it off. Try to just start back down here, come up, and then just really turn it into that corner. You'll get it. That's fine, that's fine. No, keep going, keep going. We can always cut that little piece off if you need to. Shoot it right back in that, that hole there, yep. Or it'll fit, yep.
Good job. Thanks. <laughs> you did it. This is going to be the most pain in the butt. Get this off. So when you cut caulk like this, you're always going to want to cut it on an angle. And we're going to be using a lot, so we're going to have to make a nice angle. Just like that. Make sure this is going to come out of here. Oh, shit. i got to get a popper. Just make it filming this. It usually has a popper on it, and you just kind of pop that. You see how it's gross? Usually you'd wipe that off, but I'm lazy, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so now we're popped and ready to go. I'll probably get this all over my hands as I do this, but that's fine. And you can see... And then we'll just kind of start down here and make ourselves a line up until there. It's okay if you go a little over. I'm a little drunk, so that's fine. But we're just trying to seal off each one of these raised metal edges here so that when we set this board down, we can set it on this caulk and it will kind of seal it to the floor. That's the goal. This is called lap sealant. I bought this on Amazon. I think it was a four pack for like 15 bucks or something. And it's for, we actually bought it to put a vi uh, ceiling fan in the van when we cut the hole in the top. It's supposed to seal metal up, but it will also seal wood to a metal floor. So this is the stuff to use. It's called lap sealant. So the reason why we're doing the lap sealant is because I do not want to take a bunch of screws and screw them through the metal floor. Uh, that will cause rust. As you can see here, any hole that's in the floor will cause rust to happen. And so this lap sealant allows us to solidify this floor to the ground and not have to drill a bunch of holes in the floor. So that's kind of the idea of the lap sealant. So I originally planned on putting insulation in between the floor and the wood. But we decided against it because um, I just don't like the idea of having extra layers in there. We're going to be primarily in warmer climates while we're traveling. So it's really not that big of a deal to not have insulation in this part. We do plan on putting insulation in the walls. So I'm going to put bat, probably like an R13, R15 in the walls. And uh, if not, I'll probably end up throwing a bunch of spray foam in those little holes there all the way across. And I'll spray foam everything that's open, and then I'll put bat in those open areas down there. Or I'll put in some foam uh, cutout insulation, like the foam board, and uh, rock that out. So the floor, to me, is not a huge deal. We're going to have a diesel heater in this thing as well, so we'll have plenty of heat going on if it ever gets cold. But we are planning on being in the warmer climates, so that's my uh, reasoning for having the floor the way it is. So guys... We bought this van and it has spray paint all over the windows. Like every window has spray paint on it. What is the best way to get spray paint off of a window? We do have some nail polish remover and some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, but what is uh, your guys best idea on how to get this off? That's kind of where we're stuck right now. So let me know. So lads, we got the floor done. I moved the van out here to the end of the road because uh, my roommates need to park. But, as you can see, there's a lot of junk back here now, but we've got some tires and some bricks on all that wood to hold it all down. And hopefully tomorrow that's all solidified and ready to go. So that's the plan. We'll see how this all works out in the end. But, as of right now, we have a floor. I'm going to fill that right in. Like that all, that little area right there. We're going to fill that in with some more wood probably at some point, but right now it, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to have the floor in because that's a big deal. And once that's in, we can start building everything else off of that. I do plan on putting some one by ones up the walls here to kind of build some stability to build a table off of and a stove is going to go over there and our bed is going to go across here. So we'll see what happens. But uh, as for now, this is the end of this video. This is part one of our van build and I uh, hope you guys like it. Subscribe and uh Throw me some comments down below and let me know what you think of our uh, situation. And uh, we'll, we'll comment back and say hello. So have a good day, guys. Peace out.